Before we get our hands dirty with Python code and before we start to in fact study the Greek modes using Python, let's have a few words about the Greek modes. So the history and the concepts of Greek modes, they are much more complex than a lot of people may imagine. In its most common used modes may be described as a type of musical scale coupled with a set of characteristic melodic and harmonic behaviors. And it's interesting to point out that the modes existed long before the concepts of key, of diatonic scale, of major and minor scale. So the concept of mode in Western music theory has some stages. We find modes in Gregorian chain theory. We find modes and changes in modes perception and concepts in the Renaissance polyphonic theory. And also some changes in tonal harmonic music of the common practice period. So this common practice period has a lot of the tonal theory and most of its features persisted from the mid-baroque until the classic and romantic periods. So also modern musicological um, practice has extended this concept of modes to earlier music systems such as the ancient Greek music, the Jewish cantillation and Byzantine system of uh, octaechoe and other non-western types of music. So it's interesting to point out also that the early Greek referred to modes or scales and were named after certain ancient Greek subgroups like the Ionians, Dorians, Aeolians, a small region in central Greece, Locris, and certain neighboring non-Greek people from Asia Minor like Lydia and Phrygia. Also during the ancient Greek times, Plato believed that Playing music in a particular mode would incline one towards specific behaviors associated with that mode and suggested that soldiers, for example, should listen to music in Dorian or Frisian modes to help, them make, to help make them stronger and they should avoid music in Lydian or mixed Lydian or Ionian modes for fear of being softened. And Plato also believed that a change in the musical modes of the state would cause a wide-scale social revolution. So we see that music and modes, they are quite related to philosophy during those times. And we see that philosophical writings of Plato and Aristotle include sessions that describe the effect of different musical modes on mood and on character formation. So there is this quote from Aristotle's politics, the musical modes differ essentially from one another and those who hear them are differently affected by each. Some of them make men sad and grave, like the so-called mixolydian, others enfeeble the mind, like the relaxed modes, another again produces a moderate or settled temper, which appears to be peculiar effect of the Dorian and, and Frisian inspires enthusiasm. So we already see since the beginnings that modes are related to certain feelings. So Plato and Aristotle described the modes to which a person listened as mode in the person's character. The modes even made the person more or less fit for certain jobs. And the effect of modes on character and mood was called the, the ethos of music. So we already see very interesting thing in the ancient Greek modes. We see that the modes of Greek antiquity were placed by theorists in orderly fashion within a larger context. Although the modes were a series of seven note diatonic scales containing five whole tones and two semitones, the nucleus of the tone system was a tetrachord. So a tetrachord is a group of four consecutive notes, for example, as from C to F on a piano, comprising the interval of a fourth. So we have some foundations of modes in Greece. And we have also the church mode or the ecclesiastical mode. And in music, any one of the eight scalar arrangements of whole and half tones derived by medieval theorists, most likely from early Christian vocal conventions, were called church modes. 
There is a common misconception that the church modes of medieval European music were directly descended from the Greek notion of modality, but in fact the church modes originated in the 9th century. And authors from that period misinterpreted a text by Boethius, a scholar from the 6th century who had translated the Greek musical theory into Latin. We come to the modern Western modes. And the modern Western modes use the same set of notes as the major scale, in the same order, but starting from one of its seven degrees in turn as a tonic. And so present a different sequence of whole and half steps. So one of the definitions of musical scale is that it's a set of pitches within an octave arranging in ascending or descending steps. In Western classical music, scales are identified via, via a set of intervals, tones or semitones, or whole or half steps, to form generally understood major and minor variants, such as the natural, the harmonic, and the melodic minors, for example. And these variants can be applied to different keys, such as C, D, E, F, G, and so on. And the modes are simply versions of a parent scale, so, for example, if we use the C major scale as a parent scale, so we will have the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The first note begins on C, but by keeping the same pitches and beginning the sequence on a D, so we will have D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, then we create the second mode of the major scale. And this mode we will later see that is the Dorian. Most of us will touch only the surface of this very interesting topic. I am not a musicology expert, so I won't go further. I just collected some interesting facts about modes and a bit of the history, how it uh, started in Greece. We have a period of the Gregorian chants. We have a period of tonal music. We have the period of the Renaissance polyphonic theory. We have since the beginning this relationship between different modes, their characteristics and certain feelings and human behaviors. And finally we get into what we call the modern Western Greek modes that they share Greek names not necessarily corresponding to the ancient Greek modes, but we use Greek names for the modern Western modes, and it's simply versions of a parent scale when we take a sequence of notes starting in different degrees, creating different modes. In the next tutorial, we will start getting our hands dirty with code, and we will start with the major scale as a parent scale, and then we will derive second mode starting from the second degree, and we'll start our study of the modern Western Greek modes.